everybody, it's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here in Morovia, Liberia. I told you guys that we are telling the African story and you are telling the African story the way it is. Um, do you believe that Africa is the future? Yes, I do. And if you believe that Africa is the future, who are the future of Africa? I believe that we, the young people, are the future of Africa. We, the young people, yeah, the are the new. future of Africa. I'm continuing with the second episode of what can we do to change Africa? Um, I know you're a YouTuber, but you wanted to give up, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I gave up two years ago. You gave up two years ago? Yeah. It's time to resurrect the channel. Yeah. Are you yeah. willing to do that? Yeah, uh, the reason why I start because I don't get much uh, life for my audience. Wow. Yeah. You know what, if you're watching this video, pause it, go to the description <laughs> box, Click on the link you see. That's a channel. Go there and subscribe. Is she gonna start uploading from today onwards? Yes, <laughs> from today. <laughs> if you can, ch if you should change something about your country, Liberia, mm -hmm. what will you change? Uh, I will change the people's mindset. I feel that as people, we are too free and we are dependable. So if we depend on ourselves to push the country forward, I'm sure that we can succeed. We are seen. Relax. We depend on local for a lot of things. They we're not producing anything. So we buy and then we are not selling. So when it's like that, it's, it's really tough for us. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, um, if you should have a solution to this problem, what solution will you bring home for? I would just say work harder, I guess. Work harder. I mean, the, the ones, the youth right now is having that conscience that nobody will help them. So I think that our generation will be okay, we'll wake up. My name is Terence Sendo. My brother, I just have a simple question to ask you. If you have the chance to change something about your country, Liberia, what are you gonna change? I would like to change the mindset of Liberians. Mindset of Liberians, how? Uh, most Liberians think of what to receive from Liberia and not what to give to the country. People that try to sacrifice their lives for the country that think they want to liberate the country somehow, in the latter end, they expect something. If you should bring a solution to this problem, what will you bring? What will you do? The, the solution to the problem is everybody should expect Liberia and think that this country is their home and nowhere else. When, once Liberia is gone, you as a Liberian, you have vanished and you have nowhere else to go. Behave that this place is your home. Liberia is not a graveyard that you will take all your investment to foreign country after you have, shall have invested in the country and once you are dead and gone and they ship your dead body to Liberia for burial. This is not a graveyard. So I think that Liberians should have this country at heart and bring all their investments back to the country. Thank you so much, brother. My name is Maya. What's your name? My name is Mustafa Nushkane. I'm a student of the University of Liberia studying economics and manual in mathematics. Do you believe that Africa is the future? Yes, absolutely. Yes, Africa is the future. I'm a pan Africanist. I believe in the future of Africa. I believe Africa is the next home for the entire superpower of the world. So, Today, you see all of the various countries around the world, like China, like America, like Russia, they are fighting to invest in Africa because of the wide range of natural resources that are embedded in the soil of Africa. Not only the natural resources, God, the deity, Almighty Deity Himself, has ordained and blessed Africa with so many abundant minerals and so many blessings. So, for me and for us who are pan Africanists, we believe Africa is the future because Africa holds the resources and minerals that are all over in the world once. Why only 
matters for Africa is for Africa to have good leadership. That is to say, for the leaders of Africa to be able to, 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 to manage the resources, the human capacity, and the wealth of Africa to benefit the African people. Thank you so much. So, which means that you are saying that being born an African is a blessing, right? So, to be an African is not just a, a blessing, but it is a, it is a grace. And also, it is, a, an, it is an honor and a privilege to come from a continent that has not only natural resources, but a continent of Kwame Nkuma, a continent of great men like Nelson Mandela, a continent of Agostino Nito, Dora Mayo, Savimbi, and all of those great pan Africans. And to tell you that Africa is, Africans are really great. We are the only continent in the world, or the people in the world, that can interact and, and live in every other part of the world, every other continent. And we will not have any problem. The African men can live in Asia, the African men can live in America, in Eurasia, the African men can live in every part of the world. But if you bring the Western men or the white men or the pink men to come and live in Africa, you will see that it will start suffering from infection, it will start suffering from malaria, it will start suffering from all kinds of diseases. So this is to tell you the gift and the blessings and the kind of a melanin that God has placed in, Afri in the African man, it shows you that Africans and black people are great and we are the higher species of humankind. Now you are in Liberia. If you have the chance to change something about this great country, Liberia, what will you change? If I have the opportunity and faith gave me the chance to change anything about my country, first of all, I would like to change the governance culture of how our people are being you know, left on the wayside, how our leadership has failed the people. So the first thing and the foremost problem of Africa is leadership. Once you have good leader in any African country and they harness the African minerals or that particular country resources, you will see that country booming. Look at, for example, Ghana. Today you have a president of Ghana who is highly educated, sophisticated. He has the ability to manage the resources of Ghana. Today, Ghana cities is in competition with United States that Ghana is having infrastructure development. Look at other countries such as South Africa and Tanzania, John Makavulu. So the fundamental problem of Africa is leadership. Once the leadership of Africa is put in proper perspective in the hands of good people and noble men, Africa can move forward. So you believe that if you are given the chance today, we could change the face of Liberia? Definitely, because if you love your country and you believe in your people and you want to take your people out of the, the dungeons of poverty and you claim to proclaim to be a selfless leader, you put emphasis on the people, you put dignity on the people, you increase the, the salaries of teachers, you increase the salary of nurses and people who are casual laborers so that they can be able to, 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 to you know, take care of their family, send their children to school. You raise employment. If you are a good leader, you'll be able to attract foreign concession companies to your country. And in the end, once you can bring, you know, employment and investment to your country, once you can bring, you know, decency and dignity to your people, when you can effectuate change in the people's life between employment and you able to, you know, rule in a democratic format, that is to say, without dictatorship, you can change anything in Africa, you can change anything in Liberia. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you very much. It's my first time here in Kenya. I'm a Kore. I'm a Mazure. Let's get together. Be alright. Finally. Welcome to the Giants of Africa. I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. Welcome to the Volta region. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am 30 kilometers away from Dakar. Welcome to the only country in Africa that was never colonized. Go out there, go live your life, go learn something new and make sure you explore. Kampala, Kampala, Kampala. Is that Kampala? Kampala, Kampala. <laughs> I made history today. I know even my father was proud of me. 